So, the first thing we're going to do here is to put an artificial intelligence and LM here to filter what it's about. Comments, whether it's a compliment, whether it's a criticism, or if it a question here defines below. The prompt here is going to be the I'm going to pull from the initial field from the main field and from this first thread here O and initial I put the text here but I haven't run anything I don't need to run it for it to pick up here what will the comment be how is it with an error? He's not going to let it. I have to put the model. Put the chaplet mini carefully and slowly. I need to put something here. Otherwise it won't let me put anything just so I can run it. So, and I'm going to pull here, oh comment. I am going to put right here exactly what I have planned to do and share with you all. What will the comment be here, right? And I'm going to add a prompt to give the instructions for him here. It's when it's a person sending the information. And when the information system, right? That goes to him before he evaluates. Here's the comment. And there's this user. We're also going to use this system we're going to create. I'm going to take what's already ready here so I don't have to type everything again. Well then let me just open this here. You are a comment evaluator on Instagram. Yes. Just a possible response here, praise or criticism, or when it's a question. I'm going to copy this here, that I want it to be just for this type of response. Here is system, right? I'm going to put it here. But then, for him to give exactly this type of response, I need to structure the output because I only want this type of response. I don't want him to make any additional evaluations or any other type of response. Well, then I'm going to go here. Just bring it to the middle here. I'm going to, in this LM, I'm going to set it up for it. Output in a way that it brings a specific format in the output. What is the format? It's going to be structured output. And here I'm just going to leave one item that I want, that it rises from one item that will be here. Oh, response like... And the response is going to be one of the three items here, right? So I just put one as an example. I'll put here a compliment. The compliment in this case I'm going to test here. Oh, in this case, is not going to be any compliment. And he framed it as a question because he only has these three options, but probably the person will add something. Here, for example, 
I can edit this to test it and the text. That's this here. Oh, this is an example. I can't put a compliment here. Oh, I can put very cool. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to test here. And he will respond here. For me, that was a compliment. And then I'm going to filter all these questions so I can handle each one in a different format. I'm going to put here filter, just filter. No, actually, it's a switch. So, switch. And I'm going to take the response here. Oh, I'll put it here in this first one. The first thing is if it's perhaps a compliment. When it's a compliment, I want to rename the output here. I'll put it here according to. I'm going to add another root so it can have multiple outputs. And then I can drag it again here. And when it's a criticism, copy here. When it's a criticism, rename the output. For when it's a criticism, I'm going to add another route that will be pull it here. Again, the response when question that is a question and I'm also going to rename the output to make it easier to identify and I have I can handle each output the way I want each comment here in the example in the video we're only going to do it when it's a compliment but then You can handle it the same way, but then you give different instructions to the artificial intelligence. We're going to put another LLM here. Putting it here defines below. I'm going to put the model here. I'm going to get that guidance too, so I don't have to type it again. Copy. Paste it here. So, if you're responsible for responding to compliments on Instagram, short and direct responses, it's informally. It's to avoid those responses. It's very big, very... So... We're going to put it here, right? And then, and the prompt, right? That the system, this that I just copied. And here I need from the comment. So I'm going to run it once so I can get that comment. But it's having a little problem here. So I just need to put anything here just so I can run it and pull what's necessary. Well, then I'm going to put it here. Oh. I'm going to pull the response. Now I'm going to run it. And then it will give a response here. Very informal. Just the way we asked for. Then you can handle it. The question here, then you have to give him the instructions. What kind of question it could be, how he should respond, right? But in this case, I'm going to put don't do anything to avoid any operation. And here, when it's a criticism too, do nothing. And here now,
Let me just move a little over here. And now we're going to make the connection to respond directly to the comment, right? For that we can simply come here to the documentation to see how to do that. We're going here to documents, right? And we're going here on the page that Instagram to see here how to do it. This responding to the comment here. Hi, and here we have. It's uh, the platform. Here you simply click here. And here we're going to have the whole application to be and make the connections here, right? Here we're going to put in this message when it is One that I saw here is comments, right? I think it's a comment if I'm not mistaken. Respond to a comment. Here, see that it's the same version that we're using there which is 22. Here, I need the comment ID in the URL itself here. Otherwise, I can't respond. Well, so what can we do? I can copy this RL code like... So, I can go directly there. Already make the connection. Copy here. I'm going here on Instagram, in NA10. I'm going to put here an HTTP request. Import. If the URL, the don import here, it already imports for me the method which is post. What I'm going to need here is to pass the comment ID. Well then, let me just check here in this initial. So from the comment, I can delete here, after the slash, before the response. I pulled this one from the comment here, but it went to the end, which I can copy, delete here. I come here in the middle of the two slashes and paste. I also need to send, here's the response, the message that I want, send, let me just check here. It's the message that I want to send for this comment. And then I'm going to get the response here from the artificial intelligence. Hi, so I also need to send the key that we copied there, the touch where we turned it into this here. Oh, let me just check here. We're going to send it as a header, which is going to be here. Oh, authorization. So I'm literally going to go here. The, the send headers is going to be one. Authorization. And I'm going to put the token that we saved, that we created. 
then I'll put it here. So, I'm going to save it here. If I run it here, now it's going to give an error because there isn't any post, no comment. It's not real. And let's go out and test here to see if we need to correct any information. I'm literally just going to the page on Instagram and I'm going to add a post here to make. It's simply a comment and it basically functions effectively on any post here. And I'm going to make a comment on it just to test to make a comment with another account, right? Because otherwise it won't work. I'm going to make a comment here. And how is it that I don't have another phone account connected? No, on the computer. So I'm going to do it here from my phone and to be able to fill it out, that's it. So I made a comment there, like on the phone. So it gave an error. He received that the comment. Yeah, but it gave an error here in the parameters, here in the request. So let's see what happened. Here. I didn't put that version 22. Oh, stay. I paid. At the moment I paid there, the version 22. Well, so let's go back here to the editor. I'm going to paste the version here. And with two bars, let's go. I'm gonna save. Before, here from the key, I forgot to put it. This author and this way here. You have to put this worst thing before, before the key, which is one of the things that is needed to be able to authenticate. So if I test it now, it will make the comment there. Automatic here just for me. If you look right here on Instagram, Your three answers here. Oh, yeah. Because I just clicked twice, but if I just make any comment here again, and it's going to post automatically. So it was just missing this issue of putting it here before the key. So it's already working there. Automation. Every comment that was made, it will evaluate and it's up to you to assess this issue critically how you want it to be. You can simply duplicate these two nodes here and gives the guidelines here on how it should act. When in doubt too, but then you would need to provide better context for it to make that comment. So I hope you liked it. Check if you're subscribed. I would also like to ask you to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to help our channel grow more and more. A hug to everyone. See you in the next video.